All right, this video is about the SWES, Simple Wireless Electricity System. Uh, a while back, Slider2732 showed this on his YouTube channel and made it available at uh, Thorts Energy. And uh, so I ordered mine, and last weekend it arrived. And this is what, what came. And this was so neat. Let me show you what, what he sent me. And there is, there is some, uh, some separation there between the two plates, between the uh, transmitting plate and the receiving plate. And it's lighting up two LEDs. And then he sent me this, it's just a uh, ferrite inductor and uh, LED on it, and it lights it very nice. So I had to play with this some more. Uh, made myself a couple little receiving coils. And uh, that's just magnet wire, about 25 turns of magnet wire with a blue LED on it. And uh, here's, here's another one. So let me show you something I found really quite interesting. I got to playing with this stuff and uh, pulled out blocking oscillator and uh, thought, wonder, wonder if this will work with a blocking oscillator. So this is just running off of a solar panel. I've got a uh, fluorescent light. This uh, indirectly shining. And uh, the circuit right now is uh, using about 420 microamps. And it's uh, pulling about 8 tenths of a volt. So I'm going to take that little red and notice the blink rate has changed, but both of them are blinking. And uh, kind of fun to watch watch the current draw on that blink. It, it jumps around. And uh, voltage jumps around a little bit too. But let's look at this. Let's take that one that was wound on the little ferrite inductor and set it on top. Now, all, all three lights are blinking, and look here, we're running uh, between 390 and 400 microamps, we're bouncing around a little bit, around, around the 8 tenths, uh, 0.8 volts, so it looks like those two additional LEDs are running off of the waste energy of this circuit. Uh, the current draw, the voltage, really didn't change, but uh, got two additional lights coming off of it, so I thought that was pretty neat. All right, so I want to show you what, what else I've done with this circuit. Okay, so I decided to try to build one myself. So I, I did Slider's receiving coil, put it inside this, this bottle cap, threw a little plastic on it, and uh, weighted it down quite nice. So that's my transmitting coil. So uh, just to show this working, well, I thought it was working. Here we go, Let's put the battery in. And that's running off of a AA battery. And it is working. Runs that, that blue LED. Let's pull this red one. That one works too. Has a little bit of space. This is the, uh, the inductor. Works quite nice. Again, we've got some space. So I had to play around some more. So, how about a fish tank? Notice that light getting brighter. There's one. You don't have to clean the tank. You don't have to feed the fish. Just leave it on your desk. And let's see. Just to show we can do more than one light. 
that's a uh, string of uh, LEDs that came from the Dollar Tree, and uh, there's nine of them in there. And so I just connected that up to, to one receiving coil in the bottom, and all nine LEDs are lit. Let's go back to uh, the 70s just a little bit. Here's one with uh, red glitter, got a red LED going. That's kind of fun. And I've got one more here I want to show you. Couldn't go without a snow globe. So let's make sure. There we go. Got two LEDs in my snow globe. Got a happy little snow penguin in there. So, had a lot of fun making, making some toys here. I, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, make some yourself. Thank you.